Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome back to another Pillars of Eternity video. Um, I did go ahead and Google what to do about drinking the water uh, because the character, you know, my character is sick at the beginning here. And uh, let's see, active effects, strange illness. And so somebody said I needed to drink water and then I got this plant that they told me to get that would ease my symptoms, but there's apparently really nothing to do about it. Um, somebody in the caravan could have made a potion, but the caravan is, they're all dead. So <laughs> I don't know if there was a way to avoid that or not, but either way, there's really nothing to do right now unless I want to rest, but apparently there's really no need for that. So let's push on. And we have more spiders. Let's try something else. My sunlight spell didn't really get to a chance to work before. Oh, and it looks like I'm out of mana or whatever it is that I need, so I can't do that. So, we will all just attack. Oh, spider, what are you going to do? dead already. Okay. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Yeah, I like this game a lot so far. It seems pretty deep. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and met metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. The book? Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Oh, yeah. What could go wrong? It burns, oh God! My face! I can't feel my face! Oh, now I can't feel my face, but it burns, oh God! For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is stilled, and all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, 
its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours, and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions. Troubling questions. Questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. You awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hayadan and Kalishka lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Vale may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Okay, a character is ready to level up. Do you want to level up now? This can also be done via the general radial menu. Yes. Okay. So that's interesting. Instead of um, putting points on those same attributes that we put points on in the beginning, we have skills, class unlocks, and talents. We have six points, and we can put them on stealth, athletics, lore, mechanics, and survival. So, what would be good for a druid? He's already got some good lore. Um, I'll go ahead and give him some more lore, I think. So, I would need two points to advance my lore again, so I'm going to lay off that for a second. Stealth, uh, let's go ahead and give him a point in that. Give him some athletics. Mechanics, I've got two points left. Two points to advance any of these. And one point to advance survival. But now that would give me one point left. And I can't do anything with the rest of these. So let me put one of these up a little bit more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Recover lost endurance. Easier to open locks, find and disable traps. I'm going to go ahead and put it on athletics, I think. I don't know why. Okay, so we... So we're done with that, and then we have talents. No new class unlocks. Interesting. Uh, talents. We can. We have stuff under class, under offensive, defensive, and utility. And we have one point to spend here. These are all hmm. interesting. Weapon focus. A single handed melee. It's a passive effect. 
that would be good because I like uh, I'm planning to use one handed weapon like a mace and then a shield weapon and shield style uh, plus six shield deflection hmm that would be good fast runner Shock damage, corrode damage, freeze damage, reduces the recovery time. Wound binding. That would be good. Healing an ally. I'm going to go ahead and go with this weapon and shield style, I think. Give me a little defense. So I think that's all I can do. No, don't cancel that up. How do you... Okay, confirm. Okay. Seek help for your condition. Sorry, fools. So let's see, what should I take... Um, I don't think any of this is, is as good as what I've got. I could take this and use it instead of the mace. It's uh, 13 to 18 slash damage. This is 8 to 13 crush damage. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Minor regeneration. I'll take that. Take lock picks. Uh... Oh, a torch. One torch takes up an entire slot. I've got a bow, and I've got a crossbow. 21 to 30 pierce damage. This is 12 to 17 pierce damage. Wolf hide. These are probably things I could sell, though. All right, so what do we have here? Dire cap. What the? Somebody being tortured? I still haven't really noticed if my little pig actually attacks anybody. If he doesn't, I'll probably just unequip that uh, totem or whatever it is it's making him appear vessel flesh can always use more vessel flesh I was fresh out oh guy being burned at a stake Springberry. Okay, let's go see what this is. Okay. So this is a look at the map, I suppose. We're over here in the very far northwest corner. I guess we need to go toward the Vale Wood, and then we're supposed to go to Gilded Vale. Select, reset camera, confirm. Oh, okay. That's the local. How do I? Okay. It will take you six hours to complete your journey from Silent Lease to Valewood. All right, let's go. <sighs> okay, so here we are on the outskirts of a wood. 
And I guess we'll check out this dead body real quick. But I'm going to need to wrap these videos up. I don't want to go too far into the story. Leather armor. Camping supplies. I'll leave the le leather arm. Well, I'll go ahead and take it. What the hell. So, let's see. Let me go ahead and camp and see what that does. And that'll be like the last thing. Damage reduction. So, this is what... The bonuses we can get from the camp. Uh... I don't know which is the best thing to get. But we're going to go ahead and do damage reduction and rest. Okay, so we used uh, one of our camping supplies and we're rested. I don't know if I'm still sick. I'm not still sick. It went away. So there you go. I'm not still I'm not sick anymore. I still have my little spectral pig that follows me around. Still not really sure what he does. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. And I'll say, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this game. I like it a lot. If you're a console player and you like games like this, I definitely recommend checking this out. Especially if you can find it on sale like I did. All right. So we'll stop the video here and say uh, one more time, thanks for watching.